getting ready to blast beat this inside gutter real quick. Um, we've wiped all of it down with an acid and cleaned everything. Now we got to clean out this ditch real well before I go back into putting everything in primer. Um, then the last thing to do on the inside of the trunk after I glass beat all this, we're going to start doing some of the body work and everywhere um, and clean it up that we can be putting on all the epoxies. And then we're going to have to cut this piece out and fix this area. It, it just, it needs to be taken care of. It's very shitty looking. Um, so that's where we're at. I'll show you again after I get it cleaned up, glass beating a little bit. Not going to do much, just going to do these ditches and a couple other areas. And then we're going to clean it all up and get it going in the box. a very high grade epoxy um, as a binder I'm using this over lead uh, a lot of times I do lead in all this it's a, a real high grade binder it's like you could place the process of using lead the more of the people here would be able to use it equals out to the same price as using lead in some of the formats because it's five six hundred dollars a quart compared to your regular body putty that you buy sixty eighty dollars a gallon and it's a completely different process I mean this stuff becomes so strong that you can drill it all kinds of things to it so uh, in replace of lead. Um, God, it sounds like lead. It works like lead. It's a very high dollar epoxy product that we use. And it uh, really works well. So. Doing this, see how my file is kind of curved. I'm actually sitting to the curve. I'm walking down this area. I'm following all this area, and we've been on this all day. I've been doing a lot of sanding on it. It's been going really well. body putty and stuff like that does not sand with a metal pile it'll gum all off and turn to shit in a metal pile lead sands good in a metal pile lead will bond up and get flakes of material in between the gaps and you tap on your lead pile and pop them out um, this material is very very similar to the lead and uh, very good to sand hard as shit but very very durable and shapeable and very strong and the thing is it will not shrink over time and recars chemicals out it'll bond and flow with the metal like lead does so regular body putty shrinks over time as all the chemical dries up and goes out of it but this won't do that Yeah, see, that on that side doesn't gum up at all. Oh. What I'm doing here is using this to fill in where this metal has been like shrunk and stretched all the way across here making these two and then it was ticked together in the middle and you get little tiny waves in it that just can't get to that easily so 
this is what you would do with lead. These factory were lead through here and lead up through the top and they were all lead through this corner and that's what's replacing all this. And so you gotta hand file it all out. No different than any lead I did on the sides or up the pillars and in the doors. You can see how smooth you get it with a file. Now I'm not far from being finished this area. I have to do across the back and a little more up across the top. I've been going through these joints really well and then I'm gonna get it all smoothed out and put a final coat on it and then go all the way down to like 80, get it primer. Take it all the way down to 120 and 180. See. Other buildings from the AC. And everybody that's watching out there, this is not a normal body filler. This is actually a lead replacement that is a two part and a three to one mix of an epoxy binder. Um, it really reacts a lot to do with the same way as lead um, and you don't have to fool with many of the acids. There's a few of the other shops that are doing top end restorations in the country using the same product. It is not cheap. It's a very expensive product but these cars are very expensive when you're done and you have a lot of time in them. And so you try to use the best product that you can ever use on a person's car when they've invested a lot of money into a vehicle. And then these vehicles, a lot that we do, have a lot of sentimental value to family and different things. This one here was the, the owner's mother. And this was a, a one owner car all the way from the beginning. So it has a lot of sentimental value. Don't quote me, but I think the owner told me his mother purchased this car, had it for her when she was 16. Um, one day we'll do an interview with the owner on it. <laughs> so we use a, a very high grade product. And it's uh, quite tedious. You don't want it on you either. Probably ought to be wearing rubber gloves again, but I don't. I went through so much products using lead over the years, but uh, there's a lot of things involved in lead that you have to teach people how to use it properly. And, uh, it's a lot of steps. If you don't remove every bit of the acid and everything to it, it can cause problems with the paint and the bodywork and everything else in the long run. But uh, done properly, it is very, very good. I've used it for years. And the same with this product. It's uh, very, very, very good. That's really nice to work with, honestly. I'm doing right along this lip, right on the inside, just to smooth that edge. It's gonna end up being paper thin when I remove everything. Now I know it hangs over and looks a little crappy, but it will go away. This area on Chevy's was all lead, all the way around this edge, and this part of the car. Uh, a lot of your 30s and 40s cars were all filled in with lead around the gaps. And uh, all those people are dead and gone, so. But I've used lead for years. If you do it the right way, it is very good, but it is a lot more work. And, uh, a lot of time. An aggressively amount of time doing lead work. Um, 
this doing lead work, just spreading all the lead would take you every bit of one day to get all the lead taken care of and everything cleaned and laid. And then it takes you another day or two just bowling everything you put on. And it's uh, rather difficult to go back on all the time. You can go back on it, but you might end up with pockets or voids doing lead. Or, uh, this is a little more forgiving. It does sand like lead. It's amazing the way it sands. Um, because you can file it with a metal file more than you can sand on it with sandpaper. Uh, it does, it's very hard to sand on it with sandpaper. But using a metal file and metal wraps that you use doing lead <coughs> works very well. Uh, we got out of here early this morning around 435 and uh, I finished sanding on the back and everything and cleaned everything up and I did a final spread. This is all the same areas lead would go if I was doing lead. Um, this is a, a high grade epoxy binder and it is to replace the lead that it will not shrink and it's the foundation of all the bodywork. The reason that this is going on is old 48 Chevys and a lot of Chevys, 30s, 40s cars, all were done with lead down through here. All were done with lead where the hinges are. All around here was done with lead. All the inside areas and the reason they use lead, that was a, a metal to metal product back then that didn't shrink, didn't stretch, moved with the metal that exists. And that's what this epoxy will do. It's a lot stronger than a regular body putty. It's over 500 and some dollars just for a quart. Um, it is a high grade binder that grows of resistance. Everything is what I'm using to replace lead. Um, so now we're getting, it's about lunchtime and we're gonna get out of here, go get something to eat and uh, do something else for the rest of the day. Let this cure. Tomorrow I'll come in and file it and sand it because this does file like lead. You use a metal file on this. Um, you won't sand it as easy with sandpaper. Um, it does file really well. So uh, I'll file everything and get it fit and good. All right, let's get out of here. I couldn't break it. Here's how thin that is. There you go. It's really hard, man. Try to get right there. I couldn't I do it. I no, I, I could I couldn't snap it. Now, any body putty you would easily snap. Yeah. Look at it turn red. So it ain't just me. It's that strong. It's really that strong. Now nah, you're gonna hurt your finger on yeah, your fingertip no. on mine. I dug my nails into it. <laughs> nice. I tried. Sanding out everything. It's uh Really coming out good. So just started really sanding on, sanding on the other with a metal file this morning and took all the high ridges out of everything. And now I'm on it with 36, 40, and then eight. Quite a process. It's coming out very nice, but uh, this material is a, a very strong, hard material. I'm cutting it right now with 36, 
and uh, I got it a 36, 40, and then 80, cutting different cut grains in it to get through it. It's it's a pretty hard material, very good to work with. Bonds the steel really, really well. It's just uh, a little bit timely. So. Sanding and fitting this final down through here. Uh, it's coming out really well. Things are uh, tight. What I'm doing is working on an even 3 16 gap around thing and uh, that's 3 16 I have a 3 16 gap around all this all the way down. and on this side same <coughs> and into the corner I get a little tight so I have to work that out a little bit more I'm not even a, a full 16 so I'm like right in between a 16 so you, and isn't going to take much. And that's what I'm working on right here. Um, right under a 16. See, that's too small. And right there is too tight. And then it opens up again. So I'm wide down through here. So I, that might be mom. Well, as you can see, the deck lid was coated with the epoxy binder and uh, I went and sanded it all down this morning and uh, me and Brad put it back on a little while ago and I'm blocking it to pivot against to the side. Um, it's got a real nice bit. It's got a couple little places that are still tight in places but I got a good 316 line all the way around it. Uh, it's fitting and it's rigid. It's not moving anymore or flexing. Um, and Brad's been finishing up we worked on stripping that other door and getting that taken care of. Didn't like your average body putty. It's not body putty. It does sound and work like lead a lot, you know, so.